Well, continuing coverage now of the Christopher Weiss trial, the man standing accused of killing a mother and her infant daughter. Family members of Valerie Martinez took to the stand today describing the relationship between her and Weiss, including the days leading up to her murder. Well, Valerie's cousin described speaking with investigators the day after Valerie and Azariah's bodies were found. Six News reporter Mike Rogers is live now at the McClendon County Courthouse with the latest. Mike. That's right, Chris and Lindsay, the uh, an argument that happened between Weiss and Martinez inside the house followed them leaving the house and getting into separate cars with Martinez's daughter it would be the last time that Martinez's cousin Rigoberto Contreras says he saw his cousin alive. Contreras recalling to the jury about that argument that started off in their bedroom, making its way through the house with Weiss using profanity and screaming at Martinez, leading them to the car parked outside his bedroom where he says he could hear more screaming going on. The two left and the next morning, Contreras was greeted by investigators with the sheriff's office, learning for the first time that his cousin and her daughter had been killed. In meeting with police, his brother Alexander Contreras showed police screenshots positively identifying Christopher Weiss as the man he last saw her with, saying it was her boyfriend. Another state's witness, John Cotton, also taking to the stand, says he was out at the lake and recalls seeing, uh, he recalls that he saw Martinez's car and another vehicle out at the lake that night from his vantage point. There were a couple of questions that prosecutors had questions for about what he could clearly see. But guys, this trial will continue tomorrow morning. Yeah, prosecution. Michael, Mike Rogers. Yeah, thanks, News. Mike. Prosecution continues. We'll see what the defense has to say soon. Yeah, Mike, thank you.